Hello, all my beauties and brainies, and welcome back to another video. So, I'm gonna be doing a candle. Oh, geez, can you even see? There's more down there. <laughs> I'm doing a candle declutter. Um, well, I should say a candle's empties. I'm doing a candle's empties. Um, tell you which ones are worth your money and which ones um, are not. Which ones are better for you to just spend your money getting something else. So, first one off, this is the Huntington Home Rosewater Sangria. This is one that you can find at Walmart. Or not Walmart. At Aldi's. Excuse me. At Aldi's. I think they're like... Last time I checked, they were like $3. But with a price increase... They might be more around five. I don't know. Something somewhere in that region. But like really affordable for candles. Um, I would say that all these candles are very, very hit or miss. In that um, a lot of them you can't smell at all. And then other ones like they have a scent like the first or maybe second time you use it. But it's not something that is... Um, That it smells every single time and it's not necessarily something that is really worth your money however I would say that the rose water is one that I would recommend and that I do think it consistently has a scent however I still I wouldn't necessarily be my favorite candle but I do think it's worth the money and I think that if you were going to buy one of all these I would say that the um, pink one is the rose water one is worth a try and especially if you're really into rose water my mom is really into rose water so really into the scent of rose so rose is definitely something that is just consistently in my household <laughs> so there's our first one the second one this is a little bit of a pricier candle this is from bath and body works this is my favorite candle ever this is the champagne and toast it just smells so sweet and it just it just it's just like walking through Candyland, making like friends out of gummy bears like that is what this smells like like just just sugary friendliness okay <laughs> i love this candle i definitely think it's worth it um because honestly like while there are candles that are cheaper that do have a scent i feel like buying Bath and Body Works candles I feel like it's more consistent and um the longevity is really really nice I don't think that you need to burn all three of these I honestly a lot of times burn all three until the scent goes and then I like blow out two of them and just have one still going and it's really really nice I think it also matters like how big of a space you're in like in my bedroom I would only use one and then if I was in um our our living we have an open living plan situation so when i'm in like my living room um dining room kitchen area i have all three going just because it is a bigger space but i really really like this candle and i think it's perfect for a smaller space or bigger space and it just it's just like it's just a sweet gummy bear friendly smell it just smells so nice i love it <laughs> I I'm, I already have withdrawals from it. It just smells so nice. Anyway, <laughs> I'm so sad. The second candle, this is the pumpkin and waffles candle from Walmart. Um, It's just like great values. Honestly, I didn't smell anything with this candle, so I think it's not really worth your money. And I'm not really into candles that don't have a scent. Um, yeah, I don't really smell much of anything. I think when I sniff it, it smells kind of a little bit like a scented candle, but I can't really place a scent. But when I was burning it, I couldn't smell anything. And I burned all three wicks at the same time. So like, I was like, oh my goodness, I should definitely smell something. And I didn't, even when I was like directly over it, trying to catch something, I couldn't smell anything. So this is definitely one that I would just say is not worth your money at all even if it is cheaper than bath and body works honestly cheaper candles if it doesn't have a scent and it doesn't work it's just still not worth your money so this one is definitely a pass and then the next one i actually found this one at goodwill and i was so overjoyed i have always been on the lookout for candles that smell nice at 
um, a discounted price. I think whenever I go to thrift stores like Goodwill or just like my local thrift stores, um, the only candles I can always find is unscented or um, like a cinnamon apple and I personally do not like the smell of cinnamon. Like when I'm baking I like the smell, I just don't like like cinnamon gum, cinnamon candy, I just don't like the smell of that. So that's just not something I personally want burning in my house. So when I found this one, I was so overjoyed. Um, this is the Yankee Candle, so a pricier candle. Um, it's in the scent Christmas at the Beach. It just, it just smells good. <laughs> I, 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 I told my friend that I got this and that it was Christmas at the Beach, and she's like, "What? What does Christmas at the Beach even smell like?" And I was like, "I don't know, but it smells good." So, <laughs> um, definitely something I would recommend. Yeah, it just smells good. This is a two wick candle, um, which is kind of weird because it's the same size as these three wick candles. So I don't know why they chose two. And it is a little frustrating, like all this like wax that doesn't get used up. Whereas I feel like with the three wick, you are like burning all of it more. So that part is a little frustrating, but I really do like this scent. And it was the first Yankee candle I have ever tried. So. I was really happy and the longevity is really really nice i think that's another thing that i definitely have noticed between like more expensive candles and cheaper candles is cheaper candles like don't really have a scent um or they have a scent like the first time you burn them the longevity is just not as great and i feel like they're not as consistent as um like bath and body work candles or like yankee candles all right I have two. So the, this is the next one. I, <sighs> I had such high hopes for this and um, it wasn't that great. So this is the, um, this was from the dollar store. Um, so it's a heart. This is salted water, watermelon and cilantro. My sister pointed out that they even spelled cilantro wrong. So maybe that should have been my key that it wouldn't have been a great candle. But, you know, I didn't listen to that hint. So it honestly didn't have a scent really at all. Um, which is regrettable. So it's definitely not something I would have recommended. And um, I don't think I'm going to purchase dollar store candles anymore because... They really just don't have a scent and you can always like um all of their candles are never filled up all the way they're always filled up like three-fourths of the way and it's just like kind of irritates me it's just like a really big pet peeve of like kind of trying to be sneaky about like giving people less product um so yeah i just i don't really have a good experience with dollar store candles the one that I have tried and I did like, this is the uh, Luminescence Coconut and Lime. This is the only dollar store candle that I've tried and I've actually liked. So this is one that I would recommend, but all the other dollar store candles are just not really that great. I definitely would not recommend this. But this one, this one you can trust. I really like this one. Coconut and Lime. This is, this is, this is what we're going for. The next one, this is another one that I got at a thrift store. I was so excited. I got it for a dollar. Um, this is the Candlelight Company um, Sugar Sugared Vanilla Praline. It smelled so good. It just smells like your grandma is baking in the kitchen and it's the holidays and you're like really excited to eat her cookies. So you're just like waiting in the kitchen, waiting for them to be done. That is what this candle smells like. I really, really love it. So out of all of these candles, the two that I would recommend is the Champagne and Toast by um, Bath and Body Works. And this one, um, the Candlelight Company Sugared Praline, Sugared Vanilla Praline. So that is all my um, candle empties. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you all soon. Bye.